Over 1,000 people have demonstrated in Tunisia's second city, Sifax, on Thursday amid an ongoing trash crisis exacerbated by a landfill fire polluting the city's air. Rubbish has been piling up in the streets of Sifax for months as available dump sites reach capacity with local residents forced to burn their own refuse. Protesters, including refuse collectors, gathered in front of the provincial government headquarters, chanting, Sifax is forgotten, rubbish is eating it, in every street. They demanded the resignation of Sifax governor, Fakha Fakha Fakha, who the previous day attempted to play down the dangers of a landfill fire near the city's port. On Wednesday, he called on residents not to talk about the fire, threatening to arrest those responsible. Social media users had posted images of thick smoke covering the port area, prompting Faki Faki to call for Facebook to be shut down in Sifax and say that people had false information that is harming the country's economy. In November 2021, a general strike paralyzed the city as authorities reopened a controversial toxic landfill site in nearby Agareb. A 35-year-old man died of tear gas suffocation during the protest. President Kai Saeed, who froze parliament and seized near total power in July 2021, has vowed to resolve the situation, but residents say little has changed. The president of Equatorial Guinea, Teodoro Obiangwe Mabasong, who has been in power for 43 years, is seeking a sixth term on Sunday with the assurance of being re-elected to lead one of the world's most closed and authoritarian regimes. The election coincides with the legislative, senatorial and municipal elections, which his Democratic Party of Equatorial Guinea is expected to win by a wide margin as usual. At 80, Obiang holds the world record for longevity in power for a head of state still alive he was re-elected in 2016 with 93.7% of the vote for a seven-year term. The head of state took power in a coup in 1979 in this small oil-rich Central African country, independent from France since 1968, overthrowing his uncle and bloodthirsty dictator Francisco Macias Nguema. Obiang killed his uncle Nguema two months after overthrowing him. In September, Obiang abolished the death penalty, but his regime is regularly accused by international NGOs and Western governments of violently repressing all opposition and flouting human rights, as well as for the extent of corruption. For the legislative elections, the PDGE, which holds 99 of the 100 seats in the outgoing National Assembly and all the seats in the Senate, is leading a coalition of 14 satellite parties. On Sunday, 427,661 Equatorial Guineans will be called to the polls.